I'm going to go over the tap tempo feature and the beat thing virtual real quick. Uh, it's a real cool, real easy way to get started. I'll go ahead and make sure I'm in pattern mode. And then I'll click new in the middle of the screen. Now, uh, basically what the tap tempo will do, I can pick a, pick a factory kit over here on the left. Factory kits. Start a new track, you know. Kind of just mess around. Figure out what I want to do. I do something a little slower. So there, so I want to do that. I don't know what tempo that is. So instead of having to guess what I can do, so you just click along. Click on your mouse where it says tempo. Dun, 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 dun. So you know that's about the tempo that I was doing. You didn't see anything change yet, so now I hit arm record. You'll see the tempo changed up here. Now it says 74.44. If you want to change that to a whole number 74, just go ahead and click on it and hit your arrow key up or down. So we'll go ahead and round that up to 75. Now, if you want to keep that, you know, and get uh, more precise with your tempo, like a lot of people that do, uh, you know, sample with vinyl and stuff like that, you're not always going to have a whole number tempo. So what you want to do, this is a new feature we added. Go ahead and just click on your uh, tempo up here and hold down shift. And then use the up or down arrow keys. And as you see, I can go ahead and get more precise with my uh, tempo. It doesn't have to always be a whole number. But we'll go ahead and leave that at 75. And if you remember, that's you know what I was messing around with. Let's take a listen. That's it. Simple as that.